It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 14th through the 20th. This is going to be a very powerful week. We have a new moon and a solar eclipse, so let's get started. What do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? In regards to the tarot cards, what do the tarot cards have to say? What do they have to say for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this week of December 14th through the 20th? We're going to take this one. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. So that is very positive change. Is a change in direction. I don't know if you're dealing, Libra got this as well. You could be dealing with a Libra. You don't have to be. But this is a, a positive change in direction. You may be uh, chasing after something. Or you may find somebody chasing after you. It could go either way. Um, you could be letting something go as well because this is the end of a cycle. It's the end of a chapter. It's a very positive ending at that, okay? So this is destined change of course, okay? So whatever is happening, it's very positive. You may find yourself in the right place at the right time, okay? Um... This is the wheel of life spinning you in a new direction. It starts this week. Okay, this is basically a time of transformation. Whenever I see a butterfly very prominently, I think of, I think of uh, transformation. So, yeah. It looks like there's a surprise here as well. It looks like it's, it's a happy surprise of some sort. Now this is this is destiny. So there's, so there's or, or karma. So there's karma and destiny playing out this week. Put it that way. In regards to your love, one card, please. I'm having a hard time. Attraction. You can attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So I feel like there's romance around you. Whenever I see roses, uh, it reminds me, it tells me that there's romance. There's probably somebody around you. Um, there's a lot of beauty here in this card. So we have a very beautiful person here. Um, take time to smell the roses. You know, take time to enjoy what you have. To enjoy the beauty around you. Okay, you see she's smelling the roses. It's interesting. You know, take time to smell those roses, you know, to enjoy the beauty that's around you. So I think that it is It is going to be, uh, well, it's obviously going to be very positive. Um, let's get one of these. Sometimes change isn't easy, though, and people resist it. So I feel like you've probably been resisting some sort of change because of that Wheel of Fortune. This is a destined change, of course, but it also is free will. You may be ready for the, a change. You could be uh, doing something. Now, this just came to me. You could be doing something. You're, you're doing something, paying attention to your own business, you know. Uh, I don't know tending to your flower gardens, tending to your plants, tending to your landscape, tending to yourself, you know, and somebody uh, comes along, okay, and they come, and this is like uh, serendipity, it is, because it's all of a sudden, this, the, the, it's like this wheel shows up, you know what I mean, it just shows up in your uh, environment, so something could show up in your environment all of a sudden, okay, great worry over nothing dog barking advice from a friend so you will be receiving advice from a friend and you need not worry you need not worry because you're I think that you're attracting something I do I think that destiny is is coming your way whatever it is that you're attracting it's coming your way it's, it's very very positive it is very positive so far so what do we have for Leo Quite 
do we have for Leo? Seven of Cups reversed. Now this is seeing something clearly, making a clear choice. No confusion. It's very, very clear. You're going to be making a very clear choice. It's like you've had some sort of options. You've probably been, I don't know, this is a card of consequences. It's a card of fantasy. It's a card of illusion. Maybe you were in some sort of fantasy or you were in some sort of illusion, but this is clarity. You're going to be receiving some clarity that helps you to see something coming out of confusion. King of Pentacles. Now, the King of this one happens to be on a horse. Usually, kings aren't on horses. You could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but King of Pentacles. Um, in this, you know, in this uh, upright position, is somebody that is um, hardworking, loyal, set, comfortably set. This person is abundant, has a good job has worked hard to obtain stability. So a very stable, solid, uh, career-oriented uh, individual here. I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. This is somebody who is very uh, devoted. They're devoted to stability, you know? Devo devoted to... Security, be being secure. Somebody wants security. They have the skills to be secure. Um, the King of Pentacles. Now this is this is seeing clearly. Now I'm not sure if you're attracting this person. You could be attracting this person in. Obviously, we have somebody here that's very beautiful. If you are masculine energy, you may be coming across somebody that is very beautiful. This is somebody who is very. It feels like this person is laid back. You know, very, very much loves their gardens. So there's somebody here that loves their gardens, loves their flowers. This King of Pentacles typically has a golden opportunity, offers a golden, offers stability. So there is somebody here that offers stability. Hmm. Four of Pentacles reverse. Now that is opening up. Giving, giving something. Somebody is going to be giving something. You're going to be getting something from somebody. Or they could just be letting go of their insecurities, you know? Now, this is definitely about giving. It's not about hiding or being greedy. This is about giving. And the King of Pentacles has something of value to offer. So it's, it's very interesting. Now, this is a, a need to let go of fear. So you may need to let go of fear. I feel like you have somebody here that is very stable, you know, very stable, has a lot to offer you that is coming in. This person is coming in. Uh, they're not going to, they're not in a hurry. This person is not in a hurry. This is somebody who is very wise, very mature. Um, this person has something to give you. Somebody is going to be giving you something of value by the looks of things could be money. You may be receiving some money from somebody. It doesn't have to be. Um, page of Wands reversed. Strength reversed. Oh my God. So unbelievable. So this is not following through not following through a lack of confidence doubt you have some doubts i feel like you have some doubts and i feel like you have some doubts because you may have uh maybe you held on to somebody that wasn't stable you know because this is holding on to something that isn't stable but releasing and letting go you have somebody else here if you are in a coupled relationship something is changing you're going to be abundance is coming Put it that way with the King of Pentacles. If you are in a coupled relationship and you have been worried, okay, if you and you have been worried, you know, there is something coming. There is something that is coming for you. It could be, I don't know if you're selling something or whatnot, but you're going to be getting some sort of money or stability here, okay? 
But this page of wands reverse is typically a setback or it's bad news or no confidence. There's lack of confidence here. And I feel like you, and I think that it's you, okay? I think that you are lacking confidence in new beginnings because this is beware of false beginnings, the seven of cups reversed. I feel like you have a new beginning here, but you are bewaring, <laughs> you know, you're, 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 um, having a hard time. I feel like you need to make a choice. I feel like you have some sort of option. You need to make a choice. You may have some, you may have run into somebody, uh, by chance. Maybe it's a destined meetup or maybe that happens this week, you know, and you, and there's a, or it happened already. You know, and I feel like you should have confidence in it. I feel like there's lack of confidence here. Maybe there's lack of confidence in yourself. I mean, with the strength reverse and the poor, the page of wands reverse, that could be a self-image problem. You may have, you know, maybe you have a self-image problem and there's no worry. You don't have nothing to worry about. You're, you're just fine. You're very attractive, you know. Anyhow, um... I feel like if you, if, okay, so take a look at this. We have a man chasing after something. And we have a woman over here. Now, I've given this message before. Let the man, if you're the woman watching this, and I know that a lot of people have a problem with this because of their image, because of their self-confidence, with letting a man chase them. So if there's a woman that needs to hear this, let the man chase you. And if you are the man, it is your job to chase this beautiful woman, okay? It's not her job. If you, if there's, there's clarity here with that seven of cups reversed, okay? If you are not, if this is like a um, same sex relationship, I would say that it's the masculine energy, okay? Anyhow, um, because it, I do, I would. Anyhow, um, we have somebody here that has a lot to offer. This is somebody that is, is very valuable, very stable, very solid, very secure, very hardworking, very genuine, very loyal. Okay? And I saw the loyalty up here with the dog. But then we get this king of pentacles. So we definitely have somebody that is very loyal that is in your vicinity. Okay, but you have to be able to open up to this person and probably give them your, you know, attention or, or something like that. Um, <laughs> strength reverse. That's lack of self-confidence, lack of self-esteem. There's somebody here that lacks self-esteem. Now, it's interesting about attraction. If you lack that energy, you know, you what you put out there is what you get. Okay, you have to be, think positive. This is very positive energy. If you have a positive outlook and you enjoy yourself with who you are, you're going to, that's the energy you're going to put out. You're going to put out an energy of uh, positivity and you're going to draw somebody in that is very positive. Somebody in that is uh, on the same energy level as you. Okay, so anyway, I think we have somebody here that is, is feeling inadequate, feeling like they're not good enough, but there's something positive that is coming. So just relax. And this is relax. The four of pentacles reverse is relax. Just relax. Enjoy this time. Enjoy the time, you know, uh, by, okay. Enjoying this moment fully. Enjoy if you're single. Say you're single. I don't know. Let's go like that. Okay, you say you're single. Enjoy it. You're not going to be single for long. Okay, there's somebody coming. It's going to, this, this is, uh, you're going to be very spontaneous. It's going to be a spontaneous entrance, put it that way. If you are, and it could definitely happen this week, but I, I feel like this is the end of a cycle for you. I feel like a cycle of your life is ending where you have been unclear. You have been in a state of confusion with the Seven of Cups reversed. You, you've been in, um, Maybe, and I'm going to be, I'm going to say it, fantasy land, okay? There's fantasy in the Seven of Cups, but this is becoming clear, seeing something clearly, okay? But I have to tell you not to doubt that something long-term is coming for you. It is. It is. Long-term stability is coming for you. Just relax. There's no hurry. So, I mean, with the strength reverse, I feel like, I feel like, uh, you're doubtful. You know, you don't believe in yourself. You, you may not believe, you may not believe that something positive is coming. It's coming. 
It is coming. I feel like this week you're, you may be overwhelmed. Okay, you may be overwhelmed. You may be depressed with the strength card reverse. That's your energy. Okay, that is. You may be depressed. You may be, you know, uh, feeling inadequate. You may be feeling like you don't have anything good to say about anything. You know, because you're waiting for something. Okay, it, it's coming. I just, that's all I can really say is it's coming. Um... There's a delay with that page of wands reversed. There's definitely some sort of delay. Now this is unwelcome news. So I'm not sure if you're receiving some unwelcome news. You could be. You could be receiving some unwelcome news. And it could be, again, about an earth sign. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay? You could be receiving some... Or it could be a fire sign. Or another Leo. A Leo. Or an Aries, Sagittarius. You could be receiving some unwelcome news. Maybe this person is... Um, has chosen another option, you know, and that's your unwelcome news. You know, maybe they've chosen another option and you have to accept it. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, there's a reason why things happen. So I do I do feel like that's part of this scenario as well. I feel like um, this is a week of... A cycle in your life that is ending probably with an individual that you were... Um, you were ho holding on to. You were holding on to this person. You were. But now you're letting go. And I feel like perhaps this other person has chosen somebody else. And you need to go with the flow. Be happy about it. It's hard to be happy about it. Be happy about it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it because rejection is God's protection. So anyway... Nine of Swords reverse, extremely overwhelmed. I feel like you are definitely going to be, you know, this is normal. We all go through this. This is depression. It is. It's time for closure. It's sign. It, when you get nines, it's a sign to move on. I feel like uh, you're dealing, you, you dealt with somebody, you dealt with this person that may have pretended they were stable. You know, at one time, they may have pretended that they were loyal. But now you're seeing very clearly. You're seeing something very clearly that they weren't. It is, it, it, it you know, your gut is telling you, because this, this is gut. Your gut is telling you that you have to let go of this person. But I feel like you haven't been listening. I feel like you haven't been listening because, I don't know why. Why? Why haven't you been listening? Because you've been in some sort of illusion? I mean, Seven of Cups is illusion. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So I think that you got you are you're. It's almost like you're holding on to somebody that has moved on. And you have somebody else, but you may be doubting that. You may be doubting that. Anyway, I see I saw I see a lot of worry. I see a lot of worry, a lot of discontent, extremely uh, feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like it's all your fault. How could this happen? Why did this happen? You know, why? Why me? Why me? Because you got something better. That's why. Something that is better suited for you. Whoever you were holding on to wasn't well suited for you. Period. If they had no follow through, if they made you feel less than worthy, if they if they stole your self confidence, if they put you down, then they weren't meant for you. I mean, I can see that, you know. And I feel like there's control issues here. You can't force somebody to change. So anyway, I feel like this week, you know, there's a change that is coming. It is a very positive change. This is the end of a karmic cycle with somebody that you thought was solid this person is not and you have somebody else that is
Look at on the bottom. Oh my God. Just look down. The Queen of Wands. Now this is a very strong, determined, powerful individual. Can do anything. Focus on your health. Be optimistic. Be proud of who you are. You are a strong, sexy, <laughs> determined, person you have everything you need to succeed this is this is a, a vibration a high 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 vibration raise your vibration work on your health during this time find that confidence within you you're beaming remember who you are you are a strong individual Think of think of uh, the Temperance card, okay? Because the Temperance is in the Queen of Wands. That is a card of reason, purpose. Everything happens for a purpose. Yes, something has ended. It ended for a reason. You have something better. That's what Temperance is. There's an exchange that is coming. You are letting go of something and getting something better. This is a week of change. In accepting and allowing. Be brave. Be strong. And accept and allow that something is over. And that is what I got. So this is a week. It is a week of change because of that Wheel of Fortune. And ending a cycle with somebody that has caused you a lot of depression. This person has caused you to be depressed. This person has uh, stolen your energy. It's like a psychic vampire. They've held you down. You've held, you've, you've held on to them. They've, they've brought you down. This person has brought you down. See it for what it is. Take your strength back. Good luck.